Hey, what's up guys? Maka here with a new type of video that I probably won't be doing very often, if ever at all. But I decided to do it this one time and one time only. This is a gaming news wrap up for the entire week uh, ending on March 6th. There's been a ton of cool announcements and different things that have transpired over the week that I thought I would share in a formal video like this because a lot of people have uh, not necessarily heard about all of these stories. Now, inevitably, I am going to miss a story, so if there is a gaming story that you really like that I failed to mention, comments down below and share it with the other people watching the video so that we can also get something going down there. Now, one of the coolest and biggest announcements this week was for a new game a new Wolfenstein game, which if you watched my top 10 videos of 2014, you would know it was my favorite shooter of the year. They are uh, releasing a prequel to that game called Wolfenstein The Old Blood. You can watch a tr gameplay trailer on their channel, and that game's coming out May 5th for the Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, and the PC as well. May 5th, that's only two months away, so yeah. While on the topic of announcements, one of the biggest announcements of the week, you've probably heard of this one, Rock Band 4 is coming to the next generation of consoles, and actually only the next generation of consoles, Xbox One and PS4, with possibility for PC support in the future. Now there's also a lot of different announcements that go with this. Very importantly, your DLC songs will be exported from your old generation console to the next one, only if you're in the same series of consoles. So if you have a whole bunch of Xbox 360 DLC, including Rock Band 1 disc export, Rock Band 2 disc export, that's a tough word to say, you can actually download all of that DLC onto your Xbox One. It doesn't work cross-platform, so if you have 360, you switch to PS4, you can't do that because um, Microsoft and Sony are actually responsible for their own stores. Um, so yeah. Also, they're going to be trying their best to support um, any of your old instruments, including your guitars, and your uh, drum sets or whatever you have. Um, they're working hard, they say, with Microsoft and Sony in order to make sure that everything you have right now, if you still have your instruments, will be supported in this new version. They don't have a date for this game yet. I am super, super excited. I used to love Rock Band. I used to have an Ion drum set and used to play on Expert, and I had a blast playing Rock Band. Uh, another game that was dated for September is Mad Max. Now, some people might be like, what the hell is Mad Max? This is a game that was released, uh, teased like two years ago at E3. We haven't heard anything about it in forever. They finally released a date, and they decided that they are going to completely scrap the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions and focus solely on the next generation of consoles, which is a great move in my opinion. Another game that was dated, Metal Gear Solid 5, dated for September 1st on Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3, and PS4. Two weeks after that, you are getting it for the PC on September 15th. Hideo Kojima also said that this will probably be the last Metal Gear Solid game in the series ever, so you'll want to keep that in mind. I'm sure he'll work on similar projects, maybe a new story kind of, um, but yeah, this is going to be the last. I'm going to put it in air quotes because every time we get a last game, they always find a new way to release a game and say, oh, we meant it was the last one in the full series, whatever. I'm sure there'll be something to do with Metal Gear Solid in the future. This is apparently the last one. Now, there's also been a few hardware updates. Sony has released some specs on its virtual reality headset, more Project Morpheus. They've included that it comes with an OLED screen, can do 120 frames per second, and a bunch of stuff like that. Um, also, a bigger announcement, in my opinion, this is completely new. Uh, Valve has partnered with HTC. So HTC, you might know as like a phone manufacturer. They manufacture a whole bunch of uh, hardware. They are doing a virtual virtual reality headset for to sell alongside Valve. So that's going to be a major competitor. Uh, you'll have your Oculus. You'll have your uh, Sony VR headset. And now you can get one from Valve. Uh, they've also released their final version of their Steam controller, which I'll obviously include links down below. Uh, to do with studio closures, Maxis, the game developers of Sims, SimCity, and Spore has shut down. EA has gone to say that they will continue to support the Sims franchise in other ways. Uh, they're probably still going to make the Sims games, but the developer, the original developer of that game that's been now been working on it for almost 20 years, has been shut down. Microsoft has, at GDC, unveiled a wide variety of indie games through the ID at Xbox program. I'll include a link to a playlist where they have uploaded upwards of 30 videos showcasing new indie games that will be coming to the console in the next year or so. 
One of those games is Wasteland 2. Huge announcement. Wasteland 2 is one of the most successful, um, I might be wrong, kickstarted games of all time on PC right now. I think it might be like an early access game, but I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that, but I know a lot of people are excited for Wasteland 2. And in the last piece of gaming news, Steam Machines have been detailed in more detail. There is a wide variety of them through like every manufacturer from Alienware to anything you could imagine. Starting at like 459 is the cheapest one. I think the most expensive one's like 5,000, which is imagine just the best PC you could ever build in a box. Um, so Steam Machines, for those who might not know, are kind of like, imagine like a console, but it's for PC Steam games and... It's kind of like built out of the box. The idea is that some developers might try to optimize their games for certain uh, very popular uh, PC builds, which will allow players to kind of do better, uh, perform better, even if their PCs are a little outdated. Um, again, Steam Machines are like, a, it's basically a PC, but it's made for Steam. It's a little simplified with the OS and stuff. And uh, you can get a pretty good deal on them and you can run some killer games for under $1,000. So that should wrap up the news. Now, again, I've probably missed something. So if I have, feel free to comment down below and make sure to let everyone else know about what your favorite piece of gaming news is that I might have missed. Oh, one last thing. Xbox 360 has now launched a new dashboard preview program similar to that that we see on the Xbox One. If you're interested in signing up to that, you can sign up to that uh, through the console. I think uh, they've sent out messages to a whole bunch of people. So there's a 360 dashboard preview program as well. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace!